it's Wednesday. It's half past eight. I have had a really nice morning. I woke up at half six and in my head I was going for a walk, but it was raining and I saw my period and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stay in. So I went downstairs, made a coffee and I went back to bed and read my book and it was glorious. I'm actually really glad that I did that. So I stayed in bed till like half seven, then I got ready and then I've just done quite a short yoga meditation practice. And I've really come to realize I resist sharing me practicing yoga or meditation on the internet because of this fear. And I guess just how it looks like there is no way of sharing those practices without it looking a little bit pretentious in my mind. Like that's the narrative I've constructed. And I think as well, I almost don't wanna put myself into that category of being a wellness influencer because from what I see a lot online, especially on kind of Instagram or TikTok, some of the messaging within those areas, I really don't align with. So I think that I've almost constructed this false narrative of the viewer, of you, that, yeah, you'll almost think it, it's not a bad thing, but it's just a showy thing to kind of share those practices online. I don't know. That's the realization that I've come to. But with that, it also doesn't honor the fact that without these practices, without me checking in with myself daily, whether that's through a yoga nidra, a body scan, another meditation, a yoga practice, I don't feel as calm. I feel more anxious. My mind feels busier and I just don't feel as grounded in myself and in reality. So then I'm just doing you a disservice by not sharing that as part of these daily vlogs. So yeah, <laughs> that's where I'm at with it. I'd love to know your thoughts on it and kind of wellness, wellbeing online. How does it make you feel? I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence with it and I'm trying to think about ways that I can share the wellbeing related things that I do in a positive way. Anyway, it's half eight. I need to have some breakfast and then today I have got quite a bit of work to do on my laptop before going into town this evening to teach yoga. Something I want to get better at is finding clothes that are really comfortable but feel chic because I end up wearing a combination of this outfit on days like this where I'm on my period, it's freezing in the house and I'm just working from home and I want to be cosy. This is a Girlfriend Collective sweater and then I have on the Sweaty Betty Gary yoga leggings with thick fluffy socks. And honestly, I am wearing this most of the time and I do like it and I feel comfortable, but I mean, it's not really an outfit, is it? Let's be real. It's just not very put together, as you can see, which is absolutely fine for today and to be honest, for most of the time. But you know, on those days where you wanna be comfy, but you actually just want to wear something nice. So for me, jeans don't particularly fall into that category. And I probably need to find some really nice comfy cozy trousers that can fit this bill for me because otherwise for the next few months of vlogs you're gonna get sick of seeing me in this. Since going self-employed and having a bit more of a varied work day where I can practice a yoga sequence in the middle of like a desk day or do more filming and things like that I've really noticed that I'm not the best when it comes to days where I do have work that I just need to do on my laptop. I find that I can be a bit fidgety, I will procrastinate and I just struggle to get the task done, you know? This almost sounds a bit addy, it's not an ad. I downloaded this. This is the Forest app and it basically works. I mean, it motivates you to, I mean, my procrastination tool is my phone. So the Forest app allows me to not use that and almost be more mindful in those moments where I'm about to distract myself from what I'm doing. Basically, it counts you down. So as you're working, your tree will grow and then by the time this clock has run out, you have a tree. And if you come off the app, you lose your tree. And for me, this is a big enough thing to make me not want to go on my phone because I don't want to lose the truth. So it's kind of gamifying working in a more productive way, but then also allowing yourself breaks. So after I've done this half an hour stint, or if I do a 40 minute stint, 
I will then schedule in like a good five to 10 minute break because how I used to work is that I would just honestly procrastinate a lot of time and be on my phone and just kind of doing things here and there. But then I wouldn't even give myself any breaks. Like I didn't leave any time to rest because I wasn't working in those moments where I should have been. I've been working on spreadsheets this morning and my eyes are tired. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a break and make a decaf coffee. Just realized that we don't have any ground. So I'm gonna do that. Also, didn't notice it growing at first, but my cactus has flowered, which I hasn't done before. I've had this for three years not flowered once and now we have this which i have no idea what it's going to open out and look like i think this is called a fishtail cactus but yeah we have a new friend it's the same day i've had to go and get changed because it is freezing i mean it's not freezing it's like nine degrees but still this is the first day in autumn where I've really felt the chill. It made me realise actually I need to do, like I need to buy a few things for the house, like draft excluders. I need to ideally get some sort of heater for in here so I'm not heating up the whole house when I'm just here on my own working from home. So yeah, I need to winterproof everything up, which I feel ready for it this year. Um, yeah, I feel like I've kind of prepared for it. I'm looking forward to actually having the slow winter days. I don't think I'm gonna say that when we get to the point where we've had like weeks and weeks of dark, dreary weather, but yeah, I'm trying to lean into it. I've got my cup of tea. I Honestly, I have been sat here most of the morning just typing away, so I haven't really filmed much. I really enjoy watching people's day in the life vlogs, like they don't have to have a specific thing they speak about, but I've noticed that my head is telling me that as part of these vlogs, I should include things that will hopefully add more to them rather than just me bringing you along for my day. So if you have any questions or anything, like any topics that you'd like to see me dive into more, this is probably the space that I'll do it. So let me know and I'll try and weave it into next week's vlog. I'm thinking things like, I don't know whether it's like self-employed life, being a yoga teacher, anything around burnout, healing, therapy. Like I mentioned last week, I've gone back to therapy. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll answer them throughout next week's video. I've just put my lunch on. I'm having egg fried rice with lots of little added vegetables and things. And I think in the last vlog I mentioned about the fact that I'm having Christmas here this year. I will still be going home for a little bit, but I'm gonna be spending, well, me and Jay are gonna be spending more time in our house this Christmas, which I'm just so excited about because we've never ever done it before. With this, I, cannot stop thinking about Christmas decorations, things that I want to do in the house, how I want to do it. And this now means that there are a lot of twigs, a lot of sticks hanging around. I still need to get, I need to clean this and sort it out. But basically, yeah, there's, there's a lot of things from my local park that have made it home. Obviously things that have just naturally fallen, like I've not just gone up to a tree and snapped anything off. But this is going to be, this is like the main one for a decoration that I want to do. I'm going to put in some inspiration. So I'll probably start to include things like this in the vlogs over the next few weeks. This I would love to have hanging down from the pitch rail in our living room because our Christmas tree is going to be in the corner where I'd like this to be next to. I'm thinking with this, just similar to the pictures hanging off um, small like paper ornaments, any dried fruits, just lots of different things to make like a little bit of a decorative feature on the back wall in our living room. So yeah, if you see lots of twigs or sticks or branches lying around in the back of a vlog, this is why. <laughs> I've come upstairs to start getting ready for the yoga class. I've been trying to remind myself all day, basically me and Jay share a car because I work from home most of the time. So I'm getting the bus in tonight and I just need to be aware of my timings. Anyway, in terms of what I'm wearing, I actually don't know yet. I'm gonna keep on these pants from Sweaty Betty. These are the Gary leggings, I've got pockets. They're just really comfy joggers and they're basically designed for yoga. So it'll be easy to teach in these. And then I've just got on some fluffy socks that I'm definitely gonna keep on. And then I'm just not sure about the top half because this is probably too chunky to teach in 
although I might actually just put a couple of layers underneath and then take it off if I need to because it's so warm and cosy. I've decided to put on this t-shirt just in case it does get a little bit warm. This is again from Sweaty Betty but I actually got this from Vinted and if you watched my last vlog I included like a couple of tips um, in terms of buying on Vinted because this, I think I got it for £5, it was pretty much brand new and it's just a really nice quality workout top. I mean I don't know why I'm showing you the back but yeah it's picking up as black in the camera but it's a nice deep navy blue. Change my mind, I've decided to go for this jumper just because it's a little bit thinner and will be easier to move around in as I teach but still keep me warm. I feel like because it's got a high neck, it should do a good enough job at that. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop a coat and a scarf on top of this and head to the yoga studio. Just arrived at the studio. I've already put on all of the radiators in the main room where I'm teaching because it's nippy. It is a cold one, but it should warm up by the time everyone arrives. It's five o'clock, so I'm here way earlier than I usually would be. I typically get here maybe for like 20 past, just to give me enough time to set everything up and then like arrive and set up myself. I also picked up a decaf oat milk mocha because I knew that I had this extra time. Wouldn't usually get one in all of the non-reusable packaging, but yeah. I thought I've got a whole hour. I can't remember what the name is of the cup that I use, but it's a really good one. I got it in New Zealand when I went in April and I've never, like, don't have to use these anymore, but I completely forgot to bring it with me. So I'm just going to go over the class plan for tonight. Just get really clear on what it is that I'm teaching, check on the numbers, and then, yeah, just relax a little bit and then start setting up for the evening. The class is 75 minutes long, so it's from 6 to quarter past 7. And I do quite a long shavasana at the end, which is usually around kind of 10 to 12 minutes. Obviously it's an in-person class, but the studio where I'm at, they do publish it online as well. And sometimes people do join online. So if you did fancy that, I will leave a link in the description box and you can join me from home while I'm in the studio. yoga one of the first things i had to do was change out my contact lenses because for some reason i think maybe i'm coming to the end i have monthly contacts and they're just not as good when you get to the end of them and i think yeah that's why i really love teaching yoga especially the wednesday night class i have got a shepherd's pie in the oven which i'm so grateful that i made on when did i make it on tuesday or uh, yesterday um and i've got some peas on the hob you probably can't see them Jay's also out late tonight, it's half eight, so we've both had late ones. My bus was cancelled, I walked all the way to the bus stop and then the bus was cancelled, so I just got an Uber, but the Uber driver was really lovely, we had a good chat. Which I really love, are you a chatty person in a taxi? Because I am. I don't know whether it's because I work from home now and it's like one of the forms of communication I get, but if I'm ever in a taxi or there's ever like that opportunity, opportunity to speak to someone, I will be a chatterbox. Not if they don't want to, but yeah, if they're up for it, I usually am as well. So yeah, we were just chatting. Gonna serve this dinner for me and Jay. He's gonna be back in like five minutes. I think we're gonna sit down on the sofa maybe for like half an hour. I don't know what we're gonna watch. We've not really found anything that we've enjoyed. Honestly, for like months, we've not watched a series in such a long time. So if you could recommend a series that you're really enjoying right now that's newish, that'd be good. We've watched all the classics. <laughs> we've, we've covered those bases. Um, but yeah, if there's anything new that you're really enjoying, let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna sign this vlog off here. I feel like it might be a little bit shorter than the last one because it has been just like a desk heavy day. <sighs> but yeah, I feel like I had quite a 
busy few days like monday was busy tuesday was busy today's been pretty hectic and tomorrow is a little bit slower so i'm really looking forward to that i'm going to a co-working space in the afternoon i'm gonna meet up with a friend there i'm gonna work and chat away so that'll be really lovely feeling good feeling grateful if you're watching this on sunday or at the beginning of the week i hope you have a really good week ahead and i'll see you in next week's video